This is NDTV and you're watching Classics. Hello and welcome to this episode of Boss's Day Out. Our boss today is someone who wants you to make all those critical investment decisions while sipping a cup of coffee. Loves to cater to the investment savvy modern Indian. Yes, we are talking about the man at the top of Reliance Money, Sudeep Bondupadhyay. We are going to spend the entire day with him. So come along. Already, yeah. So I can see Sudeep right there meditating. We are going to try and break into that piece for a bit, I guess. Hi, Sudeep. Hi. 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 Did we sort of catch you in your daily act of? Yes, I do this regularly. In fact, you know, this refreshes me. Mm -hmm. and uh, kind of gets me ready for the day. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I do go for a walk and after that I come and meditate for right. some time. So that's a great start to the day really, a very peaceful and insightful start to a day and we will meet with Sudeep's family and of course we just met, her, met his wife on the breakfast table. See you there. All right, so we are here at the breakfast table with the entire family, Sudeep, and you can see uh, Orko, right? Yeah. What's your name? If you could just... Orko Deep. Orko hmm. Deep uh, Bondopadhyay. Oh, that's fantastic. And which, which standard are you studying in? Ninth standard. Ninth standard. So that's lovely sari, and we, of course, met her in the morning as well. So, hmm? so usually you all uh, do gang up for breakfast, Sudeep? How is it? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, Orko has to leave for school by 8.30, mm -hmm. latest. Mm -hmm. So we tend to have early breakfast. Mm -hmm. But uh, you've been uh, in Bombay for how many years now? It's about close to four years now. Close to four years. Okay. So that coincides with whole conceptualization of Reliance Money and uh, where it's headed right now. It's been a maverick of a concept in many ways, you know, opening <laughs> branches at coffee shops and stuff like that. It would have been a hell of a task. It was, it was quite a, a challenge, uh, but uh, believe me, it was very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, I always believed that Indian financial market mm -hmm. was not really catering to the retail individuals across the country. Yes, Bombay, Delhi, Calcutta, Madras, maybe we had mm -hmm. enough financial services companies. Mm -hmm. But if you talk about, uh, uh, you know, the metro, uh, mini metros, mm -hmm. tire B, C, D towns, mm -hmm. I don't think there were uh, many large financial services players of reasonable repute mm -hmm. where they are providing services. Right, right. So, was it difficult for you, Lipika? I understand you are from Calcutta. I've been there, I've been born and brought yeah, up there. I can totally so. imagine the shock it would have been for you. Yeah, actually, you know, I born and brought up in Calcutta. So, it's a really very shocking <laughs> when he took the decision to come from Calcutta to Bombay. But, uh, you know, almost four years we are here. So, now, it's now I'm up. used to and but did, actually, did, you, did you get to see him because he was launching this big banner thing of ADAG group and they are very aggressive company in many ways so yeah but you know he uh, is very busy with his work but uh, he wants to give his time for us so this is, is a very positive thing of <laughs> so quite an ideal and husband not, <laughs> yeah, not, you know not as a husband as a father as a son mm -hmm. he is very um, Involved, you know, involved with each and every one. Mm -hmm. This is the very plus point of. Uh, <laughs> but Orko, do you, you know, you seeing the kind of crisis we are talking about, subprime, this, that, and you pretty much, you know, in that generation who's seeing it all and having, um, you know, seeing your father deeply into that industry, etc. Do you still want to sort of become like your father? Or do you like what your father does? What's yes, your? Yes, I do. I like it very much, and uh, I would be proud to be a person like. Oh wow, Ooh, that's wow. that's yeah. interesting. No, Gosh, you. have you heard that before? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I didn't know that. So well, cameras can sometimes really do wonder. So we will quickly finish up with breakfast and uh, then allow Sudeep to go into his battle gears and ready up for the office. So 
so I can see Sudeep is all set for the day and Bodhi is all yeah well he's looking nice all set for the day then thank you thank you shall we oh absolutely so there we go see you at the office right here in one of the most buzzing floors here at Reliance Money and Sudeep points out that this is the place where the customer centric activity really takes place and pretty much uh, sort of defines the DNA of the company. Absolutely. Uh, we Absolutely. have 3,100 plus people on mm -hmm. our roles and uh, we have a large uh, bunch of guys who are off roles as well. Mm -hmm. They help us in the call center, they help us in the account opening processes. Mm -hmm. So close to about 5,000 off role uh, uh, guys we have. How many are you adding, let's say, on a monthly or a yearly basis? So we have a target of going up to about 15,000 by the end of this year. 15,000 at the right. end of the That's year. Right. When we are talking about layoffs and job cuts in the financial sector. As far as we are concerned, there's nothing like that because we have very recently launched about a month back launched wealth management mm -hmm. and uh, we initially started with wealth mm -hmm. management in 20 cities and now mm -hmm. we have expanded it to 50. Mm -hmm. and we need what five guys per city at least for the wealth management vertical so we are on a hiring spree. You are on a hiring yeah. spree yeah. but yeah. on the whole just to get an industry perspective from someone who's seeing it very closely there is a need for rationalization on the whole uh, in the industry cost cutting that's figuring right. out. That's right. See, what's happening, what happened actually was there was some amount of irrational exuberance very, very mm. clearly. Mm. And uh, uh, I think that extra is going out now. And I think it's very, very appropriate also. Uh, people were being hired at obscene salaries. I think there was very little justification of that kind of cost structure mm. being built up. Uh, and I think that's what uh, which is changing slowly. Mm -hmm. ADAG Group in itself That's is right. an umbrella uh, kind of a setup. You have Reliance Capital, you have now Reliance Capital Services, and then you have Reliance Money, which are in many ways lookalikes. You know, where's uh, is, isn't there overlap? Not really. If you really look at uh, all these companies, there are specific purposes. Reliance Capital, of course, is the holding company, which mm -hmm. is the parent company of Reliance Money, Reliance Mutual Fund, Life Insurance, General Insurance. Mm -hmm. So that's a holding company. Mm -hmm. And it does currently the consumer finance business as well because it's the largest NBFC in the country. Whereas Reliance Money is a, a broking and distribution arm of ADAG Group. Mm -hmm. Reliance Capital Services is a, has got a very small limited mandate of selling Reliance products to Reliance customers. Is in terms of revenues, you know, um, what kind of give us a sense of what's the turnover like and what's the top line looking like and where is it headed? Uh, I can talk about last year because uh, you know we are a part of Reliance Capital and it's a mm. listed company. So we did break even in the first year of operation itself and uh, we had about 240 crores of top line. Uh, this year we will do much much better and we are expecting profits. Mm. Uh, the first half results which have been already declared by Reliance Capital we had a uh, profit of about 35 crores mm -hmm. which is very very good under the circumstances and considering this is our first full year of operations. And uh, three years down the line? Oh, well, we should definitely be the leading Asian broking and distribution company, at least, if not in the world. So the targets are quite stiff, and obviously we are, we've are we had a real good flow walk here and got a sense of what's going on in the office. From here, of course, we'll be headed to get a feel and first-hand experience of what this Reliance Money branches are all about.